Um, why am I tied to this pole? So you won't escape? Oh, so you like really want me. That's fan behavior. And I told Vanessa not to go tell Kenneth, but what did she do? She went and told Kenneth and I'm like, Vanessa, calm down. He literally looks like Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Are you really not scared? No, now pay attention and listen to the story. I'm trapped in a basement. Um, why are we singing? If I ever escape from here and Netflix wants to make a documentary, I want it to be a musical. Look, I really have to go to the bathroom and I am not about to poop on this floor because what am I not? A dog. So is there like a bathroom somewhere I can use? Um, you can just hold it in. Hold it in? Hold it in? No, I'll give you something to hold in. Okay, so let's play rock, paper, scissors and if I win, we get to go to McDonald's, okay? Rock, paper, scissors. I won! Look, I have a question. Are you damaged? What do you mean? Like, is your soul a little cracked? Were you the silent kid that sat in the back of the classroom with a hoodie on? Yes, I actually mm, was. That makes so much sense. I'm so sorry for you. There's a tornado coming? Yeah, we gotta get in the basement. No, I am not going in there. But you'll die. There are ghosts in there. Um, you would be seeing a ghost either way. No, I don't play with ghosts. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness, what do we do? We could get in our car and drive away. We won't be fast enough. Please, I drive like Lightning McQueen. That tornado ain't gonna catch us. Oh. Y'all, I kind of want to go inside of the tornado. But you would die. Okay. Okay. Not knowing if you survive or not is what makes it fun. Why are you on the roof of the building? I needed to film the tornado. You're gonna get sucked away. People pay good money for videos of tornadoes. You would be surprised. Does anyone know where the tornado actually is? It just hit the high school. Wait, my high school? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I am a tornado supporter. Yeah, what? tornado, go tornado. Yes, no oh my more school goodness. for me. Come on, we have to go. The tornado's coming. I think you forgot something. No, I left the fridge open. Uh, no, not that. Uh, I forgot to get the kids. The purge will now begin. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this. I have to figure out where my ex is right now because I think I should pay them a visit. Wait, I have a whole hit list. Let's get started. This purge is making me hungry. I just really want a bag of Doritos. I'm about to get the last bag. Uh-uh, no you're not. <laughs> there we go. Who try to take my Doritos? So I stole this $150,000 Lamborghini and now I'm driving 200 miles per hour down the road. I think I hit like five people, but who cares? <laughs> you only live once. <gasps> Someone set my school on fire? I wonder who did it. I mean, it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> I would never commit arson. <laughs> Guess who just broke into a bank and is about to steal $2.7 billion? Ah, it's me. Jeff Bezos could never. Yes, let's party. Y'all are already at the door trying to scare me. Let me just say this right now. If one of y'all gets too close to me, <laughs> you're gonna get punched, okay? Ooh, you smell disgusting. You need to brush your teeth, Mr. Clown. Like, the only thing haunted about this house is your breath. If I were to kill someone and then hide their body, I would hide it in a haunted house because no one would ever think it's a real body, you know? Why are you thinking about this? I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's someone at the end of the hallway. Security, get me out of here. I'm gonna die. <coughs> Did you just cough up blood on my shirt? This is Gucci. Wait, is it really? No, I got it from Walmart, but, but still. Oh my goodness, your costume is so scary. I'm not even dressed up. Wait, that's that's how you normally look? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. A tornado's coming! Is that what that siren means? Yeah, what did you think it meant? I thought it was like the end of the world and like the ground was gonna split open and then lava. No, and... no, 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 it's just a tornado. Man, I'm really bummed. Like, that is really disappointing. Y'all, I'm trying to run away from this tornado, but like, I hate running, you know? Ah! Kids, there's not enough room in our car to fit my clothes and y'all. I'm sorry, you'll have to leave your clothes at home. Wait, I'm not leaving my clothes at home. I'm leaving y'all at home. Here, what? here's the basement key. What? Stay in the basement till I get back. And I'm not coming what? back till this tornado is gone. So stay safe. Why are you listening to that song in the middle of a tornado? Um, would you like for me to play Holly Jolly Christmas instead? No, I want you to get in the basement. I'm not getting in the basement. Tornadoes do not happen a lot. I really want to embrace the moment, you know? We have to go to the roof in the tornado, right? No, we're absolutely... Wait, you know what? You go to the roof, okay? Natural selection. I'll go to the basement, you go to the roof, okay? We'll see who survives. <laughs> Is anyone else kind of curious on what's inside of a tornado? No, because you'll die. Okay, but I think it's worth the risk, you know? Let's just no, go. No, I, I have to disagree. <sighs> Bye, I'll see you on the other side. Whoa, where am I? 
this van looks absolutely atrocious. You need to get quiet. No, the only thing that we need to be getting is some Clorox disinfectant bleach because this van looks like it came straight out of a nightmare. I hate to ask, but could we go through McDonald's? Are you not scared? <laughs> no, this is like my fourth time being kidnapped. Wait, really? Yeah, everybody wants me. Ooh, this is your house? Yeah, it is. This is not. Remember when I said I was going to call 911 and everything? Yeah. Just forget it. I'm just going to call Pizza Hut and order a pizza. Wait, I'm being kidnapped? You literally crawled in my van. It said Amazon on the side of the van, and I wanted my package. Give me all the money that you got. Look, I don't know who lied and told you that I have money, but, but I don't. I mean, I am broke. I mean, I wish I did, though. It is so boring in here. We should play some music. What music would we even play? Ooh, I love the Jonas Brothers. No, no, we are not doing that, no. Look, if you're gonna kill me, at least have some music playing in the background. I just have to ask you one thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. are you proposing to me? Will you marry me? No, 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 I am not marrying you. Wait, why? I bought you a whole house. The only reason I dated you in the first place is because you're rich. I'm not about to marry someone that looks like Elmo off of Sesame Street. Do we need lettuce or tomatoes? Will you marry me and make me the happiest- You are not proposing to me in the middle of a Walmart. Plus, that ring that you have in your hand looks like you got it out of the McDonald's kids meal. Wait, is that a yes or a no? It is a no for me. We should go to TJ Will you Ma marry me? Are you proposing to me in public? I sure am. You better get up off this floor. Everyone is looking at us. So you don't like the attention? No, this is embarrassing. We should watch a movie. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, okay, go ahead. Will you marry me? No, no, I'm good. Wait, why? Do you really want to know? Yes. Okay, your breath stinks, your hair smells like almond oil, you don't cut your toenails. One hour later. You don't have a job, you can't even drive, you don't even look good. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm just gonna go, okay? Oh, okay, bye. Fine, I'll just watch the movie by myself. I just wanted to say that I'm- No, I'm breaking up with you. But I was about to break up with you. Um, I said it first. That is not how it works. Well, that's how it's gonna work because I am not letting anyone, especially you, break up with me, okay? I'm breaking up with you. I'm sorry, are you breaking up with me while I am driving a car? Yeah. Do you realize that I have full control over your life right now? What is that supposed to mean? All I am saying is that red light up ahead is looking very much green. I'm breaking up with you. Wait, why? I am literally beautiful, stunning, amazing, talented. One hour later. I am kind, I am smart, and I am funny. I mean, what is wrong with me? Your voice is annoying and your face is tiring to look at. Well, you must be blind and deaf. I mean, honestly, I didn't think you had that much in common with Helen Keller because my voice sounds angelic and my face is beautiful. So I'm breaking up with you. Okay. You aren't sad? No, I am not sad. I mean, I'm sad for you, but as for me, <laughs> I'll just go find someone new. Oh, there they are. Bye. Is that Zendaya? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm about to pass out. Woo. Woo, my heart's, my heart's really beating. Woo, I think I need a five minute break. Just need a five minute, five minute break. Oh my goodness, Tom Holland, could you sign my book? Sure. Could you sign my poster? Sure. How about my shirt? Oh, okay. What about my Thanks. Oh, um, you know what? Hello, Jennifer Lopez. Hey, how are you? You look so amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness, why didn't I say anything? Oh my goodness, could we take a picture? Of course. I am definitely gonna post this on Instagram, and my friends are gonna be so upset, but, but they can stay jealous. <laughs> I am so happy to finally meet you. Like, you are so amazing. You are oh, so thank kind. You. you are so talented. You are thank so funny. You. you are just so extraordinary. <laughs> thank and I you. Just, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Jennifer Lawrence, when you were in the Hunger Games and you shot that arrow, it was so inspirational. I just want you to know that. What in your right mind made you want to burn down a whole neighborhood? Well, I didn't mean to burn down the whole neighborhood. I was just trying to have a fire in my backyard. And then the backyard caught on fire. And then my house caught on fire. And then 10 seconds later, the whole neighborhood was on fire. What made you want to poison a whole restaurant full of people? Well, I didn't mean to poison them. We were just running out of drinks because we were super busy. And so I was just like, hmm, why don't I serve them bleach? But apparently bleach is poisonous. Did you steal $20 million from the bank? Well, I prefer the term borrowed. Well, this money that you borrowed is now missing. Well, I left it all in my car, right? And then someone stole my car. So I actually don't know where it is. Well, you're going to go to jail until you figure out where it is. What? 
Why did you steal a whole car? Because I saw $20 million in the back seat. Of course I was gonna steal the car. Officer, where are we going? To prison where you belong. What? Mr. Officer, sir, I have a complaint to make. What is it? The food here tastes like it came out of a dumpster, and this bed is harder than Patrick's Rock from Spongebob. Well, this isn't a five-star hotel. Well, please, I could have told you that. Everybody listen up. Now that I am in this prison, y'all will all listen to me. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Well, let's rumble. Let's rumble right now. Get me out of here, please. I don't belong here. <laughs> Get me out. I am not using that toilet. I am not using that toilet. I will hold it in if I have to till I get out of this prison. This is a lot to take in right now. Like, I, the boat just cracked in half. How does the boat crack in half? Like, what? Oh my God, y'all, my phone just got wet. What do I do with it? Put it in some rice. Wait, why don't we just put the whole boat in rice? <gasps> that's, a, that's an amazing idea. That's so good. Right. How many more flights of stairs are there? Um, seven. No, I'm just staying here. I'll just die, okay? I'm what? not walking that. But, no, I'm not doing that. But wake up. <sighs> Wake what? up, the ship is sinking. The ship is sinking? Yes. Uh-huh, I don't have time for this. Mm -mm. Just let me go back to sleep, please. Y'all, where are the cameras? Why would there be cameras? Because I'm sure they're gonna make a movie about this, and if they do, I better be the star. I better be front and center. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, y'all, nobody told me the ship had this many curves. Like, she is bent this over. This is a serious situation. I'm trying to make this situation funny, okay? You, we need a laugh, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's disrespectful. No. I'm breaking up with you. Okay, so get out of my house. Wait, but I don't have anywhere to go. That's not my problem. I own this house. I pay the bills. I do everything. But then I'll be homeless. Okay, well, I guess the street is your new home. I'm breaking up with you. In a swimming pool? Yeah. Okay, then let's play a little game called Who Can Hold Their Breath the Longest? You go first. I think we should break up. Are you seriously doing this in public? Uh, yeah. Okay, I need everyone's attention. Everyone listen up. This person standing in front of me is a roach. <gasps> they are a rat and oh, the no. breath stinks. Ooh, mm -hmm. Yeah, ew. terrible. Smells, ugh, mm -mm -mm. smells terrible. I'm breaking up with you. I am literally driving a car and you're gonna break up with me? Sorry. You know what? Get out of the car. You can walk home. But I live 15 hours away from okay, here. Okay, well, walking sounds like fun. Let's get to it. I'm breaking up with you. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm breaking up with you. Okay, so I'm going to give you a five minute head start. But then after those five minutes are up, <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm breaking up with you. In the middle of a war? Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Wait, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. I guess you're just blind. I mean, you literally are built like a potato. Oh my goodness, is everyone okay? Yeah, I was just trying to park the car. Does this look like a parking spot to you? I guess not. Oh my goodness, can we get a clean up on aisle four? Can you try to back the car out or something? No, it's stuck. Goodness, I don't get paid enough for this. Um, why are you wearing a wedding dress in the middle of Walmart? We wanted to get married here because it's so romantic. Oh, trust me. Walmart is not romantic. Now, you and your little fiancé can go try Target if y'all want. So, I told Vanessa, do not talk about me because I know what you did. Hey, mm -hmm. stop gossiping with the customers and get back to work. Fine. Look, call me later. And that was my presentation on why I should be the manager at our Walmart. How long have you been working here? Two days. Don't you think that's not enough time? Um, it's a Walmart. Oh, yeah, you're right. Bitch, one of y'all set the clothing section on fire. Hmm? I mean, I know our clothes are terrible, but y'all didn't have to go and set it on fire. So your debit card got declined. Do you have another form of payment? No, that's my only form of payment. Well, you're gonna have to go return those groceries and then maybe try Dollar General. But, 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 no, 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 no. If you have a complaint, go to customer services, not me. You told me we were going to a Taylor Swift concert, but does this look like Taylor Swift? I have to trick you into coming. Well, you don't have to trick me into leaving. I am out. Woo! Is that a ghost? No. You know what? I'll just stick with y'all. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. I was just playing with this teddy bear that I found. Wait, did you touch it? Uh, yeah, why? You could be possessed. I could be possessed? What? <laughs> y'all, I think I see the ghost of Prince Philip in the corner over there. I am not a ghost. This place just used to be a nursing home and they left me when they moved. My goodness. Look at that ghost. That right there is not a ghost. That is just someone who tragically needs a haircut. Hey, little ghost girl. She does not want to talk to you. No, she's just shy. Look, I have a coupon to this great hair salon. I can get you hooked up and everything. What? See, she's interested. Hey, so I'm the ghost of this house, and if y'all don't get out of here within the next 10 minutes, I will personally possess each and every one of you. No, I do not want to be possessed. Today is not the day. We gotta go. If the ghost wants to fight, then we can just fight. I mean, I'll fight a ghost.
Come on, we just have to start the car. The car won't start. Really? Okay, I'll just call an Uber. We don't have cell phone service. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're walking home. Y'all, that haunted house was nothing. If y'all want to see something haunted, then let's just go into the bathroom at Walmart. Y'all, this mansion is so nice. Like, this party is about to be so good. Was that a gunshot? No, someone start the car because I am not doing this tonight. Y'all, there is a dead body on the floor. Did you kill them? No, I didn't kill them. Then who did? What do you want me to do? Ask them? Oh, wait, they're dead. Wait, someone died? Yeah, and we don't know who killed them. We should split up and search for clues. This is not Scooby-Doo. Um, don't disrespect Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo always figured out who it was. Did they die in the kitchen? No. Okay, so I'll be in there. You don't want to help figure out who it is? No, y'all look like y'all got it. I'll just let y'all do it. Just tell me when y'all find out. Oh my goodness, y'all. The door is open. Do y'all know what that means? Someone opened it. No, the murderer opened it. We don't know that. Well, yeah, but like, y'all, I am not an investigator. What do y'all want from me? They are fools, all of them. So while they're in there trying to figure out who the murderer is, <clears throat> it's me, by the way. I'll just be swimming in this pool, okay? Are there any objections? Yes, I object. <laughs> are you serious? Uh, no, not really. Why would you say that? Um, this wedding is so boring. I had to spice it up. Oh. Why did you have to let your son play the kazoo at your wedding? Good. This sounds absolutely terrible. I love the decorations. I love the interior design, but where's the cake? Did you even come for the wedding? The only wedding that I came here for is the wedding that my taste buds are about to have with this cake. And she was so sweet in sixth grade. Oh my gosh, Kelly, we get it. You're single. Nobody wants you. Now sit down. We've had enough. Sorry. I would like to say a few things today about the people that are getting married. Um, I wish someone wanted me. As much as y'all want each other. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry. Someone just take the mic. I can't. Did I miss the whole wedding? Yes, you did. I accidentally slept in. Um, could y'all go back there and do it again? I missed it. Why would y'all put me in the middle of the woods? I mean, are y'all trying to kill me? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh. Y'all, there was a bear chasing me, so I had to climb up this tree. I hope I don't fall. Getting put in the Hunger Games was my last straw. I'm just gonna go jump off of a cliff. But you could win a lot of money. Money? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Who's first? <laughs> Did you just stab me? Yes. Well, could you at least help me get on the shore? Why would I do that? I don't want to die in a lake. I mean, who wants to die in a lake? Y'all, so I just found some berries in the woods, and I'm like 99% sure that they're poisonous. But I'm hungry, and there's always that 1%. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me that I could just clock someone from behind and I wouldn't get in trouble? Yeah, we want you to do that. I love the Hunger Games. Okay, who wants to get clocked first? Capricorn, how about you? No! Wait, are you proposing to me in the middle of a Walmart? <laughs> yeah. We could have at least done this in like a Target or something. This beach is so pretty. Just like you. Will you marry me? Oh, um, remember when we met your sibling yesterday? Yeah, why? So they're like a little bit cuter than you, so I think I'm gonna date them instead. Are you serious? Yeah, sorry. Now that we're on the top of this Ferris wheel, will you marry me? Oh, um, no. Wait, what? Yeah, now it's really awkward. Um, Mr. Ferris wheel person, could you just take us down? I have a question. What is it? Will you marry me? Oh, um... No, no thank you. <laughs> oh, um, okay. It's really quiet in here. You, you wanna play some music? <laughs> Will you marry me? No. Wait, why? You want me to be honest? Yes! Okay, for starters, you remind me of the blue monster from Monsters, Inc. Your hair is disgusting, your breath smells, you literally look like- Wake up. Wake up! What? Will you marry me? It is six o'clock in the morning. Why are you asking me this? It's just so important. Well, you know what else is important? Sleep. So it's a no for me. Oh my gosh, a tsunami is coming? Yeah. This is the perfect time to start. You could die. No, that just adds the extra thrill. We need to get in the car and drive away fast. We won't be fast enough. No, I drive like Lightning McQueen down those highways. That tsunami will never catch us. Come on, we have to evacuate. We just got to the beach. Plus, I really need a tan. We need to go right now. Y'all just go. I'll stay here and play in the sand and wait for the tsunami to just pass. The only thing that will be passing is your soul when it passes away. Oh. I think a tsunami's coming. How did you know? Was it the 100-foot-tall wave right in front of us? 
Yeah. Wait, why aren't you evacuating? I've accepted my fate. So I'm just gonna stand here and wait for it to come. One hour later. Where am I? Wait, does that sign say Japan? I'm from California. Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? There is a whole boat on top of our house. How does that even happen? Oh my gosh, the tsunami just wiped out the whole town. Oh, actually, I see Walmart. Walmart's still open, y'all. Um, does anyone have a boat or something? Because I'm a little stuck here. The volcano's erupting. Wait, really? Oh my goodness, someone get their phone out and take a picture of me. Are you really gonna take a picture in the middle of this? Uh, yeah, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You said we were hiking up a mountain, not a whole volcano. I said we were sightseeing. Sightseeing? Thanks to you, this will be the last sight we'll ever live to see. It is so hot. Thank you. I was talking about the volcano. Oh. I know there's like a volcano erupting and everything, but have any of y'all seen the bathroom? Because I need to make a volcanic eruption myself. A few moments later. Can someone please help me? Because when I said I wanted to play the floor is lava, I didn't mean it literally. Excuse me, can we like sweep the lava off of the road? You can't sweep lava. Well, I need to get to work. Where do you work that's still open? Um, Walmart is open 24 hours a day. Why did we have to move next to a whole volcano? I didn't know it was going to erupt. That's like pouring a bottle of water on yourself and then saying, Oh, I didn't think I would get wet. I think the volcano erupted. How did you guess? It was it the fact that our driveway is now a river of lava? You may now Wait, 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 wait. There will be no kissing today because I have something to say to the bride. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, well, basically, I cannot believe that you dumped me to get married to this rat in a venue that looks like it was sponsored by Dollar General. So, yeah, I hope you're happy. Wait, just kidding. I don't. Are there any objections for today? Oh, I don't have an objection, but can someone point me to the bathroom because I really have to go. Are you serious? Yeah. Our bride is running a little bit late today. Ooh, maybe she ran away. I mean, I wouldn't blame her. I wouldn't want to get married to someone who looks like Shrek the Ogre either. Hey, could you take our picture for us, please? I know you did not just ask me to take a picture of you. You know what you can take? You can take your roach-looking self back to the sewers where you belong. You know what? I've about had it with y'all, too. Here. Did you just pour coffee on her wedding dress? <laughs> Trust me, that dress could not get any uglier. If anything, the coffee stains made it look prettier. Hey! Hey! Do you know the people that they're getting married? <laughs> yes! <laughs> this was supposed to be my wedding. I was the one who was supposed to get married. Then they broke up with me! You didn't go to the wedding? I was not about to waste my time going to that. I mean, please, who do you think I am? No one's allowed to eat the cake except for the bride and the groom. Why? Because I poisoned it. What did you just say? Well, let's just say that their honeymoon won't be a long one. Y'all, I just dropped my phone into the water. What do I do? Put it in some rice. Right, we have to find rice. Wait, why don't we just put the whole boat in rice and it won't sink? That's such a good idea. I am such a genius. Can someone please explain to me why they're playing violin in the middle of a ship sinking? I mean, this is life or death, not a band concert. Ooh, I didn't know the Titanic could bend like that. She is an acrobat. <laughs> oh, she just cracked in half. Uh, never mind, y'all. She, <laughs> she is not an acrobat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope we can get a lifeboat in time. But I think they're full. No, they'll save me a seat. I'll sit on their laps if I have to. Come on, we have to go. But the elevators aren't working. Wait, so what do we do? We have to take the stairs. No, no, I'll, ju I'll just stay down here. But you could die though. Look, I don't feel like walking up eight flights of stairs right now. I'll do it when I feel like it. Wake up. Wake up. What? The ship is sinking. I am fully aware of that. Then why are you laying in the bed? I want to die doing something that I love. Sleeping. Get up. You are coming with me. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Look, you be you and I'll be me. Good night. Get out. So I just came back from the bathroom and one of y'all did not flush the toilet. So who was it? Hmm? All I hear is crickets. Who was it? Carly, was it you? Why do you think it was me? I don't know, you just look like someone who wouldn't flush the toilet. We heard that you wanted to tell us a complaint. Yes, so I wanted to tell y'all that this company is trash. It is terrible. It is absolutely atrocious. Do you want to get fired? Please, you would never, because I keep it real. And secretly, deep, deep down, y'all love me. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Vanessa, come here. What? I heard that our boss is getting married. Oh my goodness, to who? Jennifer, the accountant. <gasps> are you serious? I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs>
why have you missed the last two weeks of work? My mom sadly passed away. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know. Hold on, my mom's calling. Wait, didn't you just say she passed away? Oh my goodness, she's alive. It's a miracle. Wow, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry that I'm like three hours late, y'all. Why are you so late? Oh, I accidentally slept in. You have a McDonald's bag in your hand. Okay, so maybe I wanted to get some McDonald's. What, is that a crime? So you chose McDonald's over your job? I sure did, and I would do it again. Hey boss, so I was wondering, can I have a promotion? You've been working here for two days. What makes you think you need a promotion? Because it's taken me two days to realize that I'm the only one around here that actually gets the job done. So anyways, where's my promotion? It seriously smells like rat pee in here. I mean, where did you find this van? Behind the Dollar General? Yeah, maybe. Well, the only thing that could clean this is Mr. Clean himself. Um, Mr. Ice Cream Star, there is no ice cream back here. No, you're getting kidnapped. So does that mean there isn't any ice cream? Yes, but you said there was ice cream. Um, I was lying. Well, is there ice cream? Be quiet. Okay. Why is there so much wood back here? What did you do, rob the Home Depot before you kidnapped me? Yeah, how did you know? It is so quiet. Can we play some music? No. Why? Because you're getting kidnapped. Okay, so does that mean we can't play music? No, I just don't like you. Ugh. One hour later. Hey, could you untie me, please? Why? Because if I call Pizza Hut within the next seven minutes, I'll get two cheese pizzas for free. And from the looks of it, you don't have any food. I mean, there's not even crumbs on the ground for the rats to eat. Could we start a fire? It's getting so cold in here. I already tried to start one. Okay, well, you have bricks in your fireplace. Um, is that a problem? Bricks don't start fires. If you're smart enough to kidnap someone, surely you're smart enough to start a fire. Am I the first person that you've ever kidnapped? Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh my goodness! Uh, why are you happy? Because I'm finally someone's first choice! Do you have a bathroom or something that I could use? No, I don't. I really have to go number two. I have a box of Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes? I mean, I guess I'll have to work. The purge has begun. All crime is now legal. Oh, I have been waiting for this. I've already got my hit list ready and everything. Okay, the first person I'm gonna get is Clarissa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, someone set my school on fire. It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Y'all, I stole this school bus from my school and then I was driving and I hit a speed bump and it was like really big. So I looked back, but there wasn't a speed bump there. I think I hit someone. So I broke into the White House and I found this remote, but it's like not doing anything. Hold on, I'm getting a call. The moon blew up. The moon blew up? Yes. Oh my gosh. What did you do? I don't know about y'all, but this is the perfect time to get me some free snacks. <laughs> y'all, the lady behind me will not stop kicking my seat. All crime is legal. <gasps> Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a word? Hey, Miss Flight Attendant Lady. Do you have any pretzels? The plane is crashing. Oh, so is that a no for the pretzels? Remain calm. Everyone remain calm. G guys, guys, calm down. We need to stay calm. The plane is going down. And what would you like me to do about that? Would you like me to go up into the cockpit and fly the plane myself? Do I look like a pilot? Y'all, I am so dizzy. I think I'm about to pass out. Someone passed me the oxygen mask. The plane, wow. the plane's going down. Oh, wow. New York City has gotten so much trash here since the last time I was here. There is no cell service out here. Hold on. Hello, can anyone hear me? That is so unfortunate. Okay, so um, this was my last straw. <laughs> I've had it. So I'm just gonna go sit in that cave over there and just cry. Just simply cry. Okay, so we like need water, shelter, oh, and a fire. I don't know how to build a fire. I was hoping one of y'all did. I'm breaking up with you. Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Actually, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. Are you sure about that? What, you disagree? I mean, are you Helen Keller? Are you blind? <laughs> Anyone could see that. I have something to tell you. What is it? I'm breaking up I'm with I'm breaking you. up with you. I was just about to do that. No, no, nobody breaks up with me. I had to say it first. I'm not about to get dumped by you. I've been thinking about something. Yeah, what is it? I think we should break up. You're breaking up with me on a plane? Yeah, what about it? I can't even get up and dramatically walk away. Like, you didn't even want to wait till the plane landed? I mean, are you stupid? We should break up. Oh, um, how about we just play one more game before we break up? Sure, what's the game? It's called Hold Your Breath Under the Water As Long As You Can. You go first. I'm breaking up with you. Let me ask you something. Do you like being alive? Like, does it make you happy that you're not dead? Why would you ask that? 
because I am driving a car right now that you are riding in, so I have full control on whether you live or die. What are you gonna do, drive off the road? I will, I will drive off the road. Do you want me to? No, no. <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. What? Is the house on fire? No. Is the tsunami coming? No. Is the tornado coming? No, I'm breaking up with you. So you woke me up just to break up with me? Yeah, what about it? You know what? I don't need you because any person that I'm in a relationship would know never to wake me up, okay? Just go pack your bags and leave. Oh my goodness, an alien! Hey, can you do that little zap thing? What do you mean? You know, where you go zzz and then they go... Yes, I can. Oh my goodness, I have like a whole list of people that I need you to do that to. Can you do that? Sure, I guess. Thank you so much. This just made my day. Okay, so let me get this straight. You are an alien from outer space visiting Earth. And the one place that you wanted to visit on Earth was a Walmart? Yes, there's just so much to see here. There is nothing to see at a Walmart except for like someone scratching their butt or like a little kid crying on the floor. Hello! Oh my goodness, how did you get in my car? I mean, do I look like an Uber driver? Because I am not. I teleported, of course. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh. Can I get your phone number? I kind of want to talk more. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh my goodness, why are you dressed like that? Halloween is until October. I'm like an alien. Are you really? <gasps> Smile for this picture. This is totally going on my Instagram. Um, what's an Instagram? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. What do you want? Take me to your leader. Are you an alien? Yes. Now take me to your leader. The only thing that is leading me right now is the urge to sleep. I could just terminate you. No. Ah! Oh my goodness. Where am I? Am I on a spaceship? We are heading towards our home planet. Are you scared? Oh no. I am not scared. I have been trying to get off of that planet for years. Anyways, let's get to home planet. Let's go. I am so excited. Where am I? What in the trailer park trash is this place? This van looks like it's getting renovated by Pennywise the Clown. You said there was candy. Where is the candy? There is none. Okay, well, do you have free Wi-Fi? No, you are getting kidnapped. That is so boring. Please let me go. I was just looking for my Amazon package. I thought it was in this van, but I was wrong. Hey, Mr. Psychopath, sir. Can we please pull through McDonald's? I am starving. Are you really not scared? No, this is like the fourth time this has happened to me. Wait, really? Yeah, I have really bad luck. A few moments later. Ooh, I cannot see a thing. Someone find the light switch. Ooh, this is nice. Forget when I said, ooh, take me home. I'll stay here. Y'all, it is so cold in here. It's like the perfect temperature for a nap. I mean, I would lay down, but it looks like there's 17 different diseases on this floor. Have you ever heard of a mop? This place is literally so moldy. I mean, if the kidnapper doesn't kill me, the lung cancer that I'm gonna get definitely will. Hi, is this Papa John's? It sure is. Great, I would like to place an order for a cheese pizza too. Hey, um, what's the address? Uh, Winster Road. Okay, a uh, cheese pizza to Winster Road. Is that it? It sure is. Wait, do you want anything? No. Okay, yep, that's all. <gasps> oh my goodness, you scared me so much! I had no idea you were gonna dress up for Halloween. I'm not even dressed up. Wait, so you're not dressed up as a clown right now? No, I don't even have any makeup on. Oh, um, so you just naturally look like that. What's your favorite part about Halloween? Um, I'd have to say the candy, to be honest. What about hanging out with your friends? Look, here's the truth. Friends, they come and go. Candy? Candy stays with you forever, and I live by that. Trick or treat. Hey, the candy's inside. Come on in. Um, I am not going inside your house. That is stranger danger. But there's candy inside. I do not care if you have the iPhone 22 inside there. I am not going in. Good night. I am so happy that it's Halloween. Yes, so we can hang out with friends. Um, no, so I can scare little children. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, do not eat your candy. Why? It could be poisoned. Well, how do we know? Here, just give it to me. I'll tell you if it is. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not poison. So can we eat the rest of it? Um, I think you should just give it all to me so I can just check and see if it's poisoned or not. Y y you know? <laughs> y'all, I said I was gonna stay up with y'all all night, but I just cannot. I have got to go to bed. I'm just so exhausted because there's so many children. It is 9 o'clock. I know, but look, I need to go to bed, okay? I can't do this. A tsunami! Wait, really? Yes! We should go swim in it! Are you crazy? We could die! No! Swimming in the tsunami is just like regular swimming, but with a little bit of spice. 
everyone get in the car we have got to go we won't be fast enough please i drive like a nascar driver that tsunami will never catch us why couldn't we have moved somewhere like nebraska or georgia or north dakota but no we just had to move to california where there's wildfires and tsunamis Come on, we have to go. I am not leaving. We literally just got here and I haven't even gotten my tan yet. We have to go or else we will all die. No, my tan is worth it. And if that tsunami wants to come for me, let it come for me. A few moments later. Oh my goodness, what happened? Does that sign say Japan? I'm from California. Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? Look at this. There is a whole boat on top of my house. Like, how does that even happen? The whole town is gone. Wait, is that a Walmart over there? How is Walmart still open? Look, I hate to make this all about myself, but can someone get their butt in a boat and come out here and pick me up? Because I am not about to swim in this nasty ocean. This is your captain speaking. The plane is going down. Remain calm. The plane's going down. No, this can't be happening. I don't even have the right to vote yet. <laughs> hey, is anyone's name Jack? Because my name is Rose and I would absolutely love to have a Titanic airplane edition. Oh my gosh, just what we need in the middle of a plane crash is your baby crying, Brenda. Tell your baby to be quiet. I can't even make one phone call up here because I have no cell phone service. I wish I had the Secret Service. The Secret Service is the president's bodyguard. Oh, I thought it was like a really exclusive cell phone service. <laughs> the plane! The plane is going down! Where am I? I lost my shoe! You're really concerned about a shoe? Yes, it was a $500 shoe! I'm no expert in geography, but guys, I don't think this is Alaska. Y'all, I think I'm gonna go. What are you talking about? Well, I've just accepted that I'm probably not gonna survive this. So I'm just gonna go sit in the cave over there and stare at the wall. Okay, y'all, let's split up and search for clues. Let's look for Wait, water. Wait, did you just say split up and search for clues? Yeah. This isn't Scooby-Doo. Well, I don't know what to do. Abuela, what's my gift? Mirabel, you didn't get a gift. I didn't get a gift? Mm -mm. I actually think I did. <gasps> there, blowing out candles. That's my oh gift. Oh my god. Yes, hello, it's me, Isabella. I just made this. <laughs> I wish I could just make whatever I wanted. Like, don't you just want to make a big poisonous tree? But I have to be perfect because I'm an icon, so. Can you get my donkey? No. Can you reroute the river? <laughs> no. Can you help me out of bed? No. Why not? Be why don't you do it yourself? It's your job. <laughs> do it yourself, you stupid. Dolores, what's wrong? Whoa, 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 I have heard a lot of stuff that goes on in this house, so let me just tell y'all, okay? Bruno lives in the walls. Mirabel cries herself to sleep every night because she doesn't have a gift. Camilo sometimes shapeshifts into Isabella just to get some love from Abuela because Abuela hates everybody that isn't Isabella. Isabella doesn't even love her own boyfriend because I do. Um. A lot of y'all get mad at me because I'm mean, but I keep it real. I keep it 100%. You don't look good? I'll tell you that. The house burnt down? I'll tell you. The house burnt down. He said this about you? I'll tell you. Hey everyone, um, story time starring me. Um, last night I got really, really, really upset at Abuela, and you know how my mood affects the weather, lol. So, um, I may or may not have um, sort of, um, sucked Abuela into a tornado, and I actually don't know where she is. So, um, <laughs> um, Miss Teacher, could I please go to the bathroom? I know we're taking a test. Are you gonna cheat? <laughs> what? No, definitely not. A few moments later. Siri, just tell me the answer to number four, please. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I thought you were supposed to be smart. What did you get on the test? I got a 94. I thought you didn't know anything. Oh, I didn't know a thing, but the boy sitting next to me did, so I was like, uh, are you serious? Oh my gosh, y'all, this test is like super easy. Literally nobody asked. Just let your jealousy keep shining through. I love the light. <laughs> yes. I am not prepared for this test, so I guess I'm just gonna have to hide. Could you please take the wig off? Oh, no, I'm, I'm a British exchange student from the UK. No, you literally are in this no, class. No, no. Yes, no, yes. Not at all, yeah. no. Yeah. I stayed up all night studying for this test. Let's get started. Okay, question one. What would you do if when you okay, so he said yes, would go? What would you do if when you okay, so he said yes, would go? I'm gonna fail this. Uh, Mr. Teacher, none of this stuff on the test was on the study guide. Just figure it out. Okay. Um, Timothy. What? Do you know the answer? Yes, but what's in it for me? Okay, how about this? I'll give you this if you give me the answer. <gasps> how much money is that? 30 bucks, but it looks like a lot, you know? 
this sleepover isn't complete until we get some popcorn. I'll go make some. Yes, love mm -hmm. popcorn. Literally like 10 seconds later. Oh my gosh, y'all, the kitchen's on fire. Now I know both of y'all have brains, so how about y'all put some water on it or a fire extinguisher or literally do something like, oh. You're just gonna drive away? Uh, yeah, not my house, not my kids, so it's not my problem. That is awful. I don't care. Oh. Wake mm, up, wake what? up. What? Don't wake me up unless somebody is dead or the, the house, house is on fire. The house is on fire. The house is on fire. Oh my gosh, run. This will be the perfect time to push my enemy into the fire. Pisces Capricorn, where are you? <laughs> I hope y'all know that this may be my house, but this is not going on my insurance or my debit card. Y'all are paying for this because this is all y'all's fault. How so, dare you? Some, someone's missing. Someone's missing? Someone please help me. Girl, you've got to jump queen, okay? Okay, fine. I'm gonna jump in three, two, one. Ah! Hi, my name's Eleven. You're eleven years old. No, I'm seventeen. My name is Eleven. But oh. anyways, I heard you were talking mess about me, Angela. I don't know what you're talking ah. about. Well, I do know what I'm talking about. So um, I'm just gonna take the shoe and I'm just gonna, you know. Ah! So, like, what's your name again? Papa. Yeah, I am most certainly not calling you Papa ever. Eleven, this is so unlike you. Okay, but who? Who what? <laughs> who asked? Oh, you're in trouble. <gasps> Just tell us no, what happened. No, you won't believe me if I tell you. Try me. Try you? Okay, so basically, there's this girl. I'm not going to say her name, but it's in between 10 and 12. And basically, she, like, has these superpowers, and she made a portal. And there's, like, all these monsters that came out of the portal. And they've been, like, chasing us for, like, the past three years. And it's honestly kind of stingy. And so, like, they Angela! Oh my gosh. My powers didn't work. Well, we can see that. Um, I'm just gonna give you these sunglasses. Um, just put them on. Um, go into the girls' bathroom. Just take you a minute, because this is really embarrassing for you. Okay. Wait, what's his favorite song? Oh, I know. What's in the booty system? Top down AC with the coolest system in the club and the club. Is Beck not really that bad of a person? Yes, he literally killed like five of our Look, friends. I really just think he's kind. Let me just talk to him, okay? Hi, Vecna. How are you? The ocean chose you. Wait, why me? Because you're special. I knew it. But is the ocean trying to flirt with me? I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of weird. That's weird. Mm -mm, I'm not about that. So you're telling me that you want me to give this rock? It's not a rock, it's a heart. It's a rock. So you want me to give this to the monster across the ocean? Yes, exactly. Okay, why can't you do this yourself? Because I'm busy. Oh, yeah, this sounds like a you. Problem. No. It's giving mm -mm, you. No, yeah, no. yeah. Oh my goodness, we've been in this boat for five minutes and we haven't made it anywhere. Like, can I just go home? No, the world will literally die. Okay, well, at this point, I'm okay with that. You're kidding. Yes. Yes, really? I am. I don't really? feel like doing this. No. Hello, Mr. Crab Guy. It's nice to meet you. Um, I noticed that you like shiny things and I too love shiny things like gold, money, really anything. So do you want to share? Maybe? Maybe? You want me to throw this rock into the lava monster's chest? Yeah, pretty much. No, I'll get burned though. It's the only way. Okay, let me just throw it. I missed. Oh Are my you goodness, serious? Y wow. Oh my goodness. You're like really pretty. I just love the hair. Um, anyways, I heard you could like give gifts and um, I have two actually I would like. Um, one would be to sue the ocean because of the emotional and mental trauma they put me uh, through. Why? Yes, I don't like you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no um, and I would also like an unlimited gift card to like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts or something. all about these black and white outfits how about something blue or red no why not because that's the okay, rule well, who made the rules me who are you i am the prison guard okay, and i am your boss you. okay I'm, do you I'm understand sorry. hello today we'll be trying prison food so here we go oh my goodness what's wrong i need water why is it so dry? are you okay <laughs> dry <laughs> Um, is there, like, a nicer room than this? Because this room is dirty, smelly, and I need something lavish and exquisite. Um, didn't you steal $15,000 from okay, a bank? Okay, but that $15,000 could have been used to buy a nicer room, uh -uh. you know? Don't start. You know? Don't start. Don't, Don't start. Please help me. It's, I'm trying to escape the prison in this tunnel that I found, but it smells in here. I mean, it reeks. It's so bad, y'all. Please help me. <laughs> Clap if you think prison is nasty. Disgusting. Terrible. Oh, well, let's break out of it. Yes, let's I think what? I just started a riot. Oh my. Hello and welcome to my prison. This is a room tour. Y'all ready? Is that a phone? 
um, a brick. <laughs> um, why is it lighting up? It's a new exclusive brick. It's very expensive. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was a close one, y'all. That was really close. You're under arrest. For what? You literally clocked a girl upside the head with a roller skate. <laughs> what roller skate? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're so under arrest. Okay, well, did she even die? No. Dang, I really should have hit her harder. Uh, you are so Girl, under what? arrest. Come with me. This you're coming with me. No, mm -hmm. no, this I'm not even that scared of Vecna. Like, I could totally cure him. Okay, then go talk to him. Okay, fine. Then I will. Hi, Vecna. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. I, like, got a nosebleed. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, I forgot to tell you all this, but I have powers, too, just like Eleven does. Why didn't you tell us this? <laughs> I just wanted to keep it a secret, you know? Show us. Okay, fine. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. Uh, yeah. You didn't see that piece of grass over there? It went dink, you know? Y'all, I have been trying to escape from this Russian tundra for about a week now. And I've been trying to work on my Russian accent, but I just can't do it. It's so hard. But if this was the UK, babes, I could escape from here in a jiffy. I could escape from here real quick, you know. Vecna, please don't kill me. I'll literally do anything. Open this box. <gasps> oh my god. What did you see? It was a picture of your ugly self. You're <laughs> so <laughs> done. So you killed everybody in the building? Yes, and I did it for you. Just join my side. I, I am so on your side. It is like sickening how much on your side I am. <gasps> Look over there. <sighs> Girl, do we even need to have a competition? Because I feel like I've already won. Like, oh, you think you already won? How about we take one look at what app we're watching this on right now? Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, can we just like stop the fighting? I mean, it's obviously me. It's just embarrassing that y'all are still trying to compete. Right, Snapchat? Like, you offer so much, like sending pictures and... Oh, wait, that's it. Um, excuse me, guys. Y'all are leaving me out. I'm very, very popular, you know? Yeah, you are very popular amongst 80-year-olds. Dang, that was good. That was really good. Oh my gosh, y'all. Can we just stop the arguing? Like, it's obviously me who's winning. Like, every celeb uses me for literally everything. Yes, they do use you when they're bored. Now, how about you tell me which platform all the song artists post their songs to? Me. Which um platform do all of the YouTubers post their podcasts to? Still me! Listen, YouTube, you had a great run, okay? But now it's all about me, and I've been the hot thing for, like, the past four years, and it's not gonna end anytime soon. Wait, 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 time out. Where's Twitter? Hey, y'all, I just have, like, this really massive headache. I'm going through, like, this, like, existential identity crisis right now. Girl, what? The CEO of Twitter is trying to change my name. <laughs> I see the light. I see the light. Oh, my God, Twitter, no, don't die, don't die. Girl, the tea is getting hot today. Hello, it's X speaking. The old Twitter can't come to the phone right now. Why? Cause she's dead. One of the Zodiac signs just got murdered. Who was it? Leo, oh my gosh. Looks like Leo has made some enemies. Now who found the body? Scorpio, this is T, this is T. Now who has made themselves the detective? Gemini, Gemini's gonna crack this case. Mm -hmm. Now let's see who suspect number one is. Aries, okay, okay, I can see them murdering somebody. And who's suspect number two next to Aries? Libra, okay. Now, let's see who got arrested for the murder of Mrs. Leo. Virgo? Okay, now, Virgo got arrested, but who actually murdered Mrs. Leo? Gemini! They were playing both sides the whole time. They were detective and the murderer. Wow. Wow. Now, let's see which zodiac sign finds out that Gemini's the real murderer. <gasps> Capricorn, Capricorn sets Virgo free because they were wrongfully put in jail and justice is served for Mrs. Leo, yes! We would like to say rest in peace to you, Mrs. Leo. Clap if you're feeling pretty hungry. Yes. Are you not scared of getting kidnapped? Look, ki getting kidnapped is something that happened in the past. Right now, I'm feeling very much hungry. So can we go to McDonald's or not? No. Absolutely not. Rude. Uh, yes. Is this 911? Are you talking to someone back there? No one. Pay attention to the road. Just just keep driving. Yes, it's in a white van. Are you talking to the police? This is none of your business. This phone call is not your business. Okay, turn around but, and pay attention to the road. Hey, Let's not but, die right now, okay? Yeah, look, yeah. Look. Pay attention to the road. Yeah. Where did you get that water from? Um, that fridge over there. Why would you touch my fridge? Um, I was thirsty and I saw a fridge. One plus one equals two. I'm not thirsty anymore. You were not supposed to go in Look, there. it's literally a Dasani water bottle. Take a chill pill. You need to build a bridge and get a- Y'all, I stole my kidnapper's phone and I just want to record a message in case I die. I have a few confessions. Veronica, I have never liked your haircut. Please get a new haircut. It's ugly. Eric, you sound like a squirrel. It hurt my ears to listen to you. And Trixie- 
Who are you talking oh God, to? She's coming. Let's play a game. I spy with my little eyes something trashy. Your attitude. Uh, no, this basement. It is so disgusting, rotten, foul. You need to fix it. I'm. I'm mm -mm, that's bad on your part. Please let me go. I'll literally do anything. Name it and I will do it. Give me a million dollars. Uh-uh. You picked the wrong person for that. I don't have that type of money. I'm literally like broke. I can point you to someone who is rich, but you got the wrong person. It ain't me. It's not me. It is not me. Hey, so I think we should break up. What? Are you serious? Yeah, you must have seen this coming. No, like I definitely saw it coming. Just, just don't cry, okay? okay? I'm not crying. Oh my gosh, you're crying. I'm not crying, okay? Stop. 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 Hey, what's up? I heard you wanted to talk to me. So I think we should break up. Oh, okay. No, everything's fine. I'll just get my car and go. Oh. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta do. Ten seconds later. Oh my gosh, who set like, your house on fire? That is like oh my... totally crazy. I like have like no idea who did that. Like somebody somebody confessed right now. <laughs> that's like really embarrassing for one of us. Can I talk to you? Yeah, what's up? I think we should break up. <laughs> What would you do if I just stabbed you with this pen? What would you do if I hopped across this table and I literally just stabbed this in your th Wow, this hike has been such a dream. Thank you so much for taking me up here. Hey, so I actually think we should break up, okay? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's dead. Hey, I know, um, so we do need to talk and- No, I just think look. we should break up. Oh, no, up. I'm breaking up with you. Yep, I was not about, mm, I was not about to let you oh. break up with me on this eight hour flight. Who do you think I am? Like, let's be for real. Let's talk about something fun. Um, I think we should break up, oh. girl. You just broke up with me while I'm driving you home. You know I could just crash this thing any second, right? I could drive your side. So as soon as the Hunger Games begin, I see a box of Pop-Tarts sitting next to a tree. So of course I have to go for them, but then I see Aries running to them too. So I fight them for it and I guess I lost. But was it worth it? Yeah. This place is so pretty. <gasps> Scorpio, did you just stab me? Yep. <laughs> the violence. Y'all, it is so hot. I think it's time to get in this lake. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. Is that an alligator? Virgo, you think you can kill me? Let's fight. Come on, let's fight. Blech. Did you just stab me? You said you wanted to fight. I was kidding. Scorpio, instead of killing me, why don't we form an alliance? Yeah, sure. Really? No, now you better <laughs> run. <laughs> I was peacefully walking through the woods and then some random bear started running at me and I was like, you wanna fight? Then let's fight. I ended up losing the fight, but... So I was walking through the woods with Gemini and I turn around for one second and then Gemini stabs me in the back. Like, I guess they really do have two faces. I'm it's fan behavior, if you ask me. So I found these berries in the woods and I'm like 99% sure that they're poisonous, but there's always that 1%. And I'm really hungry, so let's try it. Oh, I can already feel my throat. You know, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. <coughs> oh my goodness, is that a snake? Oh, come here, little thing. You know, some people say that I act like a snake sometimes. Mm -hmm. Did you just bite me? You're venomous. Oh my goodness. Aquarius, did you just shoot me with your bow and arrow? That's what you get for being two-faced. Having one face is just so boring. You know, I'm going to come back from the dead and haunt you. So I was literally about to win, and then I stood next to this cliff, and then Virgo pushed me off. Like, what? What? So what made you want to push Aquarius off of the cliff? Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, someone had mentioned to me previously that I get money for winning this, so where's that at? Okay, it's time to find out which zodiac sign just got cheated on. Aries? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry, girl. But you better watch out, because Aries will literally come for you. Okay, which sign just cheated on Aries and is likely gonna die? Cancer? You better watch your back. Okay, so which zodiac sign caught Cancer cheating on Aries? Aquarius? Aquarius saw all the tea that night. Okay, so who ended up telling Aries about the cheating and spilt the tea? Sagittarius, they would. They would not let Aries suffer like that. Okay, so it's time to find out which zodiac sign did Cancer cheat on Aries with? Gemini? Girl, not Gemini trying to steal Aries' is man. Okay, so which zodiac sign knew about it the entire time and didn't tell? Taurus? Oh my gosh, Taurus, why would you not tell? Okay, so Aries moved on from Cancer. So who did they upgrade with? Virgo? Virgo will treat them right. Virgo, you better treat Aries right or else you be next. Look, all this is fun and all, but where's Nicki Minaj? I mean, I'm a Barbie, but I'm not Barbie Dreamhouse. I'm Barbie like, let's go to the beach each, let's go either way. So Wait, so like, why is this actually a bob? Like, I'm actually obsessed. 
10 seconds later. I can't take it. I can't take it. Somebody get me out of here, please. Okay, so I looked around the house and I just have one question. Where's the toilet? We don't use the bathroom in Barbie world. Oh, but you see, that's actually not going to work for me. Okay, somebody get me out of here right now because I need a toilet ASAP. I will use the pour the potty. I will use the public restroom. Just somebody get me, get me a toilet. Hello, my name is Barbie Anka, and I called an emergency Barbie meeting because I have so much Barbie tea to spill. Okay, so last night I was looking out my window, right? And I saw astronaut Barbie sneaking off with Ken. But guess who Ken's married to? Teacher Barbie. <gasps> no way. I know, I know, right? Wait, 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 wait. If this whole place is made of plastic, did y'all not have like a Save the Turtles movement? No, what's a turtle? No, don't play with me because I know there's a marine biologist Barbie somewhere. Where is she? Barbie, I have a confession to make, okay? Promise not to get mad. When I was five, I put you in the microwave because I thought you were looking a little bit pale and I thought the microwave would give you a tan, but it just kind of burnt you up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all already know the drill. Who just got murdered? <gasps> Cancer! Cancer was walking down the street and somebody ran over them with their car. Now who found Cancer's body pancaked on the ground? Aquarius! Wow, this is crazy, y'all. Aquarius found the body, but who was Cancer last seen with? Sagittarius, they are friends. Okay, that's a little shady, though. Now, who sees this murder and is like, I'm gonna be the detective. I'll find out who did it. Scorpio, they do have a really good intuition. Okay, let's see who Scorpio's first suspect is. Gemini, what did they do? What? Okay, so Gemini's the first suspect, but who's the second suspect? Capricorn! Gemini and Capricorn didn't even do anything. Maybe Scorpio knows something we don't. Okay, so who got arrested for the murder? Leo! Wow, they're just so jealous of them. During Leo season two? Awful, awful. Okay, so Leo got arrested, but who actually murdered Cancer then? Aquarius! That's who found the body! Oh my gosh, Scorpio. I love you, but you were not a really good detective. Love you, though. Y'all already know it's time to figure out which zodiac sign just got stabbed in the back, literally. Virgo, rest in peace, rest in peace. Okay, so Virgo's dead, but who found the body? <gasps> Cancer, oh my gosh. Okay, and which zodiac sign is going to be the detective? Libra said, I'm going to use my mind and crack this case. Libra's been working day and night. Who is their first suspect? Capricorn, Capricorn has been looking shady since day one. And hey, Libra doesn't stop there. Who is their second suspect? Scorpio! Scorpio has been side-eyeing Virgo for months. Okay, so we've got Capricorn and Scorpio. Who actually got arrested for it? Aquarius. Aquarius got arrested because there was so much evidence. There was blood on their hands. So Aquarius just got sent to the pound. But who actually murdered Virgo? Leo? Oh my gosh, Leo smooth-talked their way right out of it. Oh my gosh. So, who knows that Leo is the murderer and ends up confessing to everybody? Aries, Leo told Aries in confidence, and Aries was like, I'm not standing with that, and Aries served justice for Virgo. One of the zodiac signs is dead. Who is it? Taurus. Rest in peace, Taurus. Taurus just got ch ch chopped. Who found the body? Sagittarius. Oh my god. Sagittarius found that body, but who was Taurus last seen with? Cancer? Wow. Wow. There's something shady about that. Now, who is making themselves the detective that's gonna crack the case? Pisces. Okay, they got some good intuition. Who is Pisces' first suspect? <gasps> Cancer? Oh my gosh, they were with them last. Alright, and who is Pisces' second suspect? Virgo? What did they do? All right, it's time to find out who got arrested for the murder of Taurus. Libra! They weren't even a part of this to begin with. So Libra got arrested, but who actually murdered Taurus? Pisces? But they were the detective. Oh my gosh, no way. This is crazy. Justice has got to be served for Mrs. Libra for being wrongfully put in prison. Wow, wow. So what's my you gift? You actually don't have a gift. Let me see that candle. Why won't you give me a gift, huh? Put the candle Give down. Me a gift. Put the candle down I don't now. Even blow out like is what? Like that's the enough. What? Abuela, you have been nothing but mean to me. And guess what I found? Uh, why oh. do you have a baseball bat? Oh, I'm just gonna hit you with it. Just kidding. We're gonna play some oh. baseball, of course. <laughs> I don't do anything yeah. else. So my gift is that I can read people's minds. No way. I don't believe you. Oh really? Your credit card number is. For legal reasons, we cannot share this part of the audio with you. 
So have you just been living in the walls this whole time, Bruno? Yeah, basically. And oh, wait, then... I'm sorry to interrupt. There's like a rat chewing on your toothbrush. I don't know. Oh if you yeah, want to he get does that. that from time to time. You know, it's yeah, normal. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Someone get me out of here, please. Yeah, so basically I can talk with animals. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, bird. Wah. See, I understand that, bird. <laughs> so where's my bed? In this room, your bed is a leaf. So Isabella gets a whole king-size mattress and I get to sleep on a leaf? What is this? What is this? all of you shine. Um, why, why are we singing? Um, to add the spice, you know, to add the flavor. No, make this no, a lot no, fun, that's you know? enough. That's enough. No more. Please. You're better. It's time to find out which zodiac sign just got <laughs> murdered. Gemini! Oh my gosh! Gemini has some enemies or something. Okay, so now it's time to find out which zodiac sign found Gemini's body. Libra! Oh my god! Okay, so now it's time to find out who's gonna be the detective and crack the case. Aquarius! Okay, I think they got this in the bag. Okay, so let's see who is Aquarius's first suspect. Virgo! Oh my gosh, Aquarius heard Virgo talking smack about Gemini the other day. Okay, so... Who is the second suspect? Who is it? Capricorn! Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, they've been giving side eyes to Gemini for months. Okay, so Virgo and Capricorn are the suspects, but who ends up getting arrested for the murder? Sagittarius! Sagittarius and Gemini are total opposites. Okay, so Sagittarius got arrested, but who actually murdered Gemini? Taurus! You know Taurus loves to hold a grudge. Gemini? Wow, poor Gemini. Okay, and who knew about murder the whole time and ended up confessing about it later? Capricorn, they were one of the suspects and they were not liking that they were. Mm-mm, they spilled the tea. These are the zodiac signs as Disney princesses. Hello, I'm Elsa and I'm a Virgo because I am that girl. I will be brutally honest to you and I will get my way, but I'll slay while doing it, so. Hello, my name is Belle and I'm Pisces and I am so intelligent and I see the absolute best in people. But no, this does not mean I'm obsessed with hairy men. Hello, my name is Merida and I'm an Aries. Do I have a little bit of an anger problem to the point that I turn my mom and brothers into a bear? Maybe, but I'm still an icon nonetheless. And you all love me, like, come on. Hello, my name's Jasmine and I'm a Leo. I mean, I'm literally in a movie about Aladdin and I still manage to make the movie about myself. I mean, I live in a gold palace and I have a pet tiger. Like, name somebody who's better than me. Crickets. Hey, my name's Rapunzel and I am a Gemini. You could probably tell that, like, I am all over the place. Like, when I went missing, a whole country looked for me. And like my list of talents, my hair just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Hi, my name's Cinderella and I'm a Libra. I mean, I'm literally, like, the show starter. Like, when you think of the Disney princesses, you think of me, you know? And I have, like, amazing fashion. Like, that shoe was so beautiful, that man spent years looking for me amongst thousands. Like, it's crazy. Hello, my name's Ariel and I'm a Scorpio. As y'all know, Scorpios are like a rooted love sign. Like, we love love. I mean, I literally switched species to get with a man, so. Sly! Hey, I'm Tiana and I'm a Capricorn. As you know, Capricorns are all about hard work and dedication. And I'm the only princess that runs a business, okay? I work for what I got. And there you go. Hey, my name is Mulan and I'm an Aquarius because duh, when I want my way, I get it. And yeah, I'm a little bit unconventional, but guess who won the war? Me. And there you go. Hey, my name is Moana and I'm a Sagittarius. And when I have my mind set on something, oh, it's over for you. Cause I am so determined. Like I literally saved the world. Like, hi, my name's Anna and I'm a Taurus. And I do tend to fall in love really, really quickly. <laughs> but when my friends and family are in danger, I'll do everything I can to save them. Hey, I'm Snow White and I'm Cancer. I mean, I, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, Snow White, you're so bland. But think about this. When y'all all go through your breakups, who do y'all come to? Me. Because I'm the OG. I am the legend themselves. Look, I don't mean to be mean, but whoever made these mashed potatoes absolutely cannot cook. Like, I personally never want to see that person touch anything food related again. Uh, nobody told you you had to eat it. Oh, I know I don't have to eat it. It's the fact that I physically cannot eat something like that gooey or something, okay? I'm actually about to make a call to 911 because what this is, this is attempted murder. Okay, so today we're gonna go around the table and say what we're thankful for. I'll go first. <laughs> Where do I start? Any day now, Cheryl. Well, it's just I have so many things to be thankful for. How about we just choose okay, one? Okay, um, I'll just save myself. You are so conceited. Oh, how about you listen oh, here? Oh, no, you do. Hello, everyone. Oh, especially you, Aunt Rebecca. Or should I say, 
Emily. <gasps> you didn't. Well, for anyone that doesn't know, Emily is Rebecca's online name that she uses to talk to 75-year-old rich men. <gasps> you would do it too for a check. Uh-uh. You just need to get a job, okay? Don't be lazy. Don't finesse otherly people for their money. Like, that is absolutely, like, horrible. Like, hey, everyone. Everyone meet my fiancé. Oui, oui. That's, like, your fourth fiancé this okay, year. Okay, I'm sorry that I don't want to be single for the rest of my life like you, Brenda. Ooh! Anyways, um, this is my fiancé. I think that's how you say it. Um, we know you know how to say fiancé. Well, it's just so hard for me. I mean, they're from Italy, you know? So I get my words mixed up because, you know, I'm starting to turn Italian. <laughs> Be so for Shut real. Shut up. Hey, how are y'all doing? I just came to get me some food real quick. Oh, you're not saying? Oh, no, I don't want to intrude. No, you're not intruding. No, no, I'll just see y'all at Christmas. <laughs> Uh, I know. Uh, there he goes. There he goes. And so basically, I was like, no, you don't hey. need to say that, Victoria. What are you doing here? I'm just about to feast. No, no, no. You're a child. Go sit at the child's table. I'm basically 18. No, you're 17, and you'll be turning 18 tomorrow. That's still giving minor to me. Um, As if you're not 17 yourself. No, I'm mentally like a 28-year-old. You see, there's a difference. Anyways, let's get back to Victoria. Wait, so you're telling me I, like, can't step off this platform? Yes. What will happen? You'll die. I'm just gonna do it. Pah! Oh my gosh. Okay, so Aries was chasing me through the woods right here. And I don't know about you, but I'm not getting wet in some creek. This is a new shirt. But the next thing I know, Aries stabs me in the back of the head with a fork. Shh, there's a bear right by me. It's chasing me. Hey, y'all. So we're having a little mukbang today. Today's treat is these little blackberries. Let's taste one. Y'all, so I spend hours making this fire. And so I fall asleep because I'm hashtag tired. And then guess who pushes me into the fire? Virgo. So now I'm gonna haunt Virgo. Y'all, Sagittarius is crazy. This girl just jumped down from a tree on top of my neck and slashed it. What? What? Hey, y'all. Um, so I just want to let y'all know something. Um, don't consume poison ivy. <laughs> who knew it was lethal? <laughs> So I'm sitting here next to this lake, right? And I'm putting my little tanning lotion on because, you know, I got to keep myself looking good for the cameras, duh. And all of a sudden, my face starts to burn after I put it on. I'm like, what's happening? Oh my gosh, turns out Aquarius poisoned it. So now I'm dead. So I spent the whole game hiding on this tree right here. And all of a sudden during the night, I get struck by lightning. No, the game makers want me dead. They hate, they hate to see me win. What? So I'm standing in the woods, right? And all of a sudden the query starts running at me and they slap me. So I slap them back. Then they slap me again. I slap them back and I'm like, bam, bam, bam. And then I get an axe to the chest. So I make it to the final two and I'm looking for cancer. And cancer has been hiding this whole entire time. And I walk up to this cliff and they run out of the tree line and push me off of it. I'm so upset. Did I hide the whole time and wait for everybody else to die? Yes. And who won? Me. <laughs> stay mad. Stay mad. <laughs> so the Zodiac signs went to a pool party and somebody got <sighs> murdered. Who died? Pisces. But they're literally a water sign. How did they die in a pool? So which of these signs found poor Pisces' body floating in the pool? Scorpio. They're also a water sign. Wow. All right now, and who was Pisces last seen with in the pool before they <laughs> drowned? <gasps> Leo, Leo, it's not looking too good for you, babes. All right now, and which zodiac sign is gonna be the detective in this case? <gasps> Aries, Aries is gonna serve justice for Mrs. Pisces. Now, who was Aries's first suspect? Gemini, okay, they've been looking real shady standing over there in the corner. All right now, and who was Aries's second suspect next to Gemini? Leo? Okay, they were the last person they were seen with. Alright, we got Leo and Gemini, who was the third and final suspect. Libra? They've been real quiet. Okay, so we have our three suspects, but who's the person who everybody kind of thinks did it? Capricorn? What? Who, what did they do? Alright, so after all this finger pointing, who got sent to jail for it? Libra? They were one of the suspects, but did they do it? All right, which sign actually knows who the killer is and is about to confess? Scorpio, they were the ones who found the body. They know something. All right, and who does Scorpio reveal actually killed Pisces? <gasps> Themselves? The tea is getting hot today. Oh my gosh. The tea did not stop there. Scorpio also told us who their accomplice was. Gemini? Gemini helped them kill them. Wow, those are some two shady jealous signs. Oh my goodness, what gift did I get? You didn't get a gift. You're disappointing. <gasps> Why would you do Look, that? If I can't get a gift, no one can have a gift. Do you understand? That's so disrespectful. What? That's not fair. So basically, I make the flowers grow 
how did this get here i just made it yes. oh my goodness you're like so perfect oh, thank you stop you're too nice <laughs> Okay, so mom, you know how you can like heal people? How about we try to heal Mrs. Abuela? Because she clearly has like something going on in there. She's a little bit psychotic. I don't know if that's how your powers work, but how about we try healing her, you know? Because something's wrong. I know the whole family did not just take a picture without me. Like, just because I don't have a gift, what? Y'all are all on my hit list. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump off the balcony. Oh my goodness, what? Who said that? And you? We have beef. Uh, look, I may not have magic, but I have this thing called a lighter, and let's see how flammable that hair of yours is. Ah! <laughs> Antonio, don't look. What are you doing? I'm erasing your name and writing my name on it. I have to do this Wait, for me, no. Antonio. Look, it's my second chance. Please, please. 